What is up guys and welcome back to Dashi Square. Now I said that in this episode I wanted to do the two remaining ghost difficulty levels Haunted and Pursuit. However, while I wasn't playing there was actually a new level released called Absolution, also a ghost difficulty, the hardest difficulty available. So I have no idea how many levels I will be able to beat in this episode, but let's just start with the two, Haunted and Pursuit, starting with Haunted. And those two do have a boss battle. There is, oh, an extra sign or difficulty or whatever gimmick that it includes a boss battle, which is just gonna be interesting. Mini drop? Oh my god, that is definitely a mini drop. And do we have a new gimmick? I'm not sure if that if we've seen that before. I think it's new. Invisible plat invisible platforms or invisible blocks for a UFO part, especially, which is gonna be interesting. Is it just me, or do the UFO parts almost always have like a new gimmick or something? The UFO parts are like the most intense parts in this game. At least that's how I feel. And what exactly is happening? at that point. Am I just too nervous? Am I getting too excited? Do I have to stay down first? And then really quickly go up? I think so. I mean, this is a ghost difficulty level. I should not expect anything close to easy gameplay. This is gonna be the hardest challenge we had so far in Dash Square. So go up. Oh, and now we have the teleport. Oh, we have the teleporting UFO. Darn it. So there should be a way I can see whether or not it's a normal UFO or rocket or sword in my case. I have a sword skin. That was interesting. Or the teleporting one, where it just teleports you more or less to the place you would end up. And I'm... Okay, I'm messing up the beginning. What am I doing? Eight attempts? Not bad at all so far. Not sure how difficult. Again, this is gonna be the most difficult or should be the most difficult level, but I'm never really sure how difficult it's actually gonna be. But if I keep messing up like this, it will definitely be a challenge for me to beat this. Come on. Stay down first, and then go up, and then go up again. Again, damn it, I thought, okay, I thought I was already in the teleporting uh, phase, that was kind of dumb. So I just have to, I have to play smart, really, I, that's not playing smart, that's playing even worse. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. It's just this intimidating factor, because it's the hardest difficulty, ghost difficulty. It's actually intimidating, and somehow it's making me a bit excited. I need to calm down for this. Come on, stay down and then spam up and then do this and then do this. Nice. Th that was just so bad, the rotating messed me up. This is ridiculous. This UFO part is insane. <laughs> How many times have I died so far? Like. I think more than 10 times, just on this UFO beginning, and I can't even really perfectly do this beginning before the UFO part. Okay! Okay, I know that a lot of Dashy Square levels do have fairly difficult beginnings, but this... I'm pretty sure this is a new level of... Difficulty! How... How can I do that? Didn't I do it, like, on a very early attempt, somehow? I got very close to the middle? I'm not sure. But now I just cannot get, like, down at all. I'm just so high up. No! What? I have to stay super down. Either that or I'm doing it completely wrong. Not sure. But I think I just have to have, like, the closest call in existence. I have to barely touch the block and stay as close to the block, the blockade. As close to that as possible, but it just seems so difficult. Holy moly. Come on. Okay, wow. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Wait. Wait, am I- am I dumb? Or what was that? Why did I not drop down? There are spikes on the bottom, but how did I not drop down? And now I've made that mistake again. Did you see that? I did not drop down. Can I just let myself fall at that part? If I do it like that again and then just let myself fall, 
Maybe it'll work. However, I won't understand it if it actually ends up working. Like that. And then just focus on jumping well and not messing up like that. But okay, this should be easier now. I should be able to get to that part more often now. Okay, that was wrong. I think it's not possible if I just press nothing. I will try to get to the second jump booster so it boosts me up more. Because, yeah, it doesn't really seem possible to do it in one go. Can I get the key? Almost! Okay, I don't think it's that bad. I just have to time it better. And why does this keep killing me somehow? I have to, I think, very quickly, in very quick succession, just spam the jump button twice. If I take too long, obviously, I will just die. Can I do this now? Every time, almost. Yes, nice, okay. Now we'll get the key, maybe? Oh, that was so close, but I got it. Perfect. Now do this, and now... Oh, oh nice. Oh, no, no. Into my death. Okay, 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 I have to... I have to react very fast, and just really know which jump booster I have to use. What? What? Oh, no. I think I have to time it even more, because if I'm too slow, the ceiling is still gonna move around, so I have to actually time it with the ceiling? Okay! That makes it so much harder! I have no idea. Honestly, it doesn't seem like I'm. it's possible to do that with that one, because I'm way too high. Doesn't seem like I can get any lower. So maybe I actually have to use an earlier one? I have no idea here. I honestly don't know. That is so confusing. And now I forgot the key, but doesn't matter for now. Let's just try to understand this. Look at that. How can I get lower? Somehow, I have to be faster than the ceiling. Do I just have to be faster in general? But if this level is timed... Maybe I have to wait! Maybe I have to wait? Let the ceiling come down first, and then do it. Maybe only after the ceiling has already been down. Maybe then it's possible. That would be so evil. That would actually be... <laughs> that, that would be insane. I have no idea if that is actually a part of this level. We will find out. Let's go. That was too slow. No! It's true! I cannot believe it, and I think that was a trap. It is true. That is impressive. That is insane and ridiculous. I love it. I have to actually wait and just let the level do its thing until I can actually progress. That is such... that is so smart. I love it. What? Oh right, I, I think I have to slow down. I'm still in the slowing down mode, so if I slow down, if my gravity switches, I should be able to survive, unless I actually have to time it again, so I only get into that gravity switch when the time is right. This whole ceiling gimmick is so evil all of a sudden, I can't believe it. And I messed up. What? And I messed up. I still messed up because I forgot to uh, slow down so I can actually reach the gravity switch. So much to focus on. However, on the bright side, if we look on the bright side, which we should always do, we were pretty far. Past 30%. That's really good. Okay, now we are back to somewhat normal gameplay. And then, of course, as I say this, we go back to a UFO part. Oh my god! This level, have mercy. It has to be a double jump, I forgot. I have to double jump over that, 
and then it's probably gonna just keep throwing more and more insane stuff at me. And remember, we know that there should be a boss fight in this level. We aren't even at the boss fight yet. Double jump, double jump, yes, another double jump. I hate the rotating. Demon key, good luck, R? What, okay, wow, that, a single spike, that is so pathetic. <laughs> In a way that is so embarrassing, of all things that kill me, it's gonna be a single lone spike, the only spike on screen. All right, and now? Look at the spike. Focus on the spike. R. Spike. U. Spike. Ready? No! Oh my god, thank god. It almost messed me up. What will you do? What will you do? What the hell is that? One versus one me? Is this... Go away, robot. We're fighting a robot, so that's the boss fight. Right? We're fighting a robot who wants to 1v1 me. Okay, then. Round two, 1v1 me. And, okay, th the thing is, this boss is blocking some of the obstacles, so I can't really see them coming, and I did forget about that. What I have to do is I have to time it, and then somehow be able to wait for the top spike to drop down, and at the same time, I cannot die to the bottom spike. Oh, I have to be faster. I have to I have to use all the time I get basically. It's almost perfect timing I have to go in as soon as it's possible then just immediately stop activate the trigger and go just go freaking go You mad I'm not mad yet not sure if I'm going to get mad! I will get mad if I just cannot see the obstacles coming. Can you see them coming or am I just not paying attention to the top? Do I actually have to constantly look at the top in order to see the spikes coming? I hate those spikes, man. Ah, okay, 70%. I did not realize they were so close. I actually wanted to uh, go to practice mode once I got to 100 attempts, but 70%, that is so close to victory, I can almost taste it, so I think I'm gonna keep going for now. I'm gonna keep going without practice mode. That is actually good to know. Apparently, if I just don't press anything, it's possible to avoid the lower spikes, at least the first two. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Just don't care about the lower spikes, the bottom spikes. Only focus on the top ones. And I got the key. That is actually really cool. That's a very easy demon key to get. So I should be able to get both keys. On this level, that was very close. But now... I'm just gonna try my best, let's go. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for too long or else the, the spawning will be too close together. I have to really just always keep, keep moving. Oh my god. Don't try. Don't try. Do what? 80% left? Oh god. Did I just have to know that? Did I have to uh, ho keep holding down jump? Not sure. I think so. That was so, so tight. Oh my goodness, I'm so afraid. You what, mate? No, 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 no! Ah, so close! I think I can do this without practice mode, yeah. I should be able to do this. I just... I get distracted by the darn text. That's not good. But I so want to read it. Ah, 
Ah, every time. If the screen is rotating, I'm so close. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna pull through, not use practice mode. I'm gonna beat this robot. Yes! Okay, that took my full concentration. Oh yeah, yes! There we go, I did not get the demon key. God darn it, I did just not get the demon key on that attempt. But we did it. Today is a good day, achievement unlocked. Today is definitely a good day. That was a pretty awesome level. That was actually awesome. Because that was really nice difficulty. That was the type of difficulty that is very challenging, but it never got frustrating. I just always had fun. Even though I had to redo the level, it was still fun. Because it was just a fun level, I loved that! I cannot wait for more of these ghost difficulty levels. However, because of the difficulty, I do think that this should be enough for one video. So I guess we might even have to split each ghost difficulty level into its own video. We will see how difficult the next two are. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And until next time, take care.